So I've been, I've been having a difficult time figuring out how to, to vote on this report, and I do acknowledge the work that's gone into it without question. I do hearken back to a day before we had CACs built in as a line item on the revenue side of our balance sheet. And uh, remind every, I'm reminded that um, we used to pay for community amenities without uh, having CACs as part of our financial structure. The reason I mention this is because I, I am concerned, as I've mentioned before, about our growing dependence on CACs and the implications of this business model. Uh, I am uh, concerned should there be a market crash, it's not like we haven't seen them before. Um, and I'm not uh, convinced that, that CACs as, as a mechanism are not contributing to our affordability problem and have not been a, uh, contributing to our affordability problem over the last decade in particular. Um, so back to the beginning, I am having difficulty uh, deciding. I respect the work that, that you've done on the subject. I would like to be asking the question, is this in the best interests of the city in the long run um, becoming this dependent on development because if we have a, a stop in development, all of a sudden we have a crash to deal with. So um, I may just end up uh, abstaining because I don't want to you know, sh shoot the messengers on this, uh, but I did want to go on the record as uh, expressing these concerns in the hopes that, that you will take them into consideration as you move forward.